Reports about data breaches seem to come out every day. The Identity Theft Resource Center says 817 data breaches have been reported so far this year, noting that many companies don't divulge how many consumers are impacted. Right, so if you're not notified by the company that had the data breach, how would you know if your information has been compromised? Today, NBC10 Response shows you an online tool to help. Identity theft experts will tell you criminals just need a couple of data points about you, your digital footprint, to try to steal your identity and your money. How much information about you is out in the universe? None of us can really keep track of it. I've got no idea how many different places I've put my information in online. Troy Hunt is a web security consultant who says your information is often exposed in data breaches of companies or agencies where you've done business. He characterizes the attacks as pervasive and nonstop. You really can't do a lot to stop yourself from being in data breaches. Hunt has developed this website that combines information from data breaches across the globe. It's called Have I Been Pwned? P-W-N-E-D dot com. Pwn comes from the gaming culture where one player dominates another. In this case, hackers might be dominating your personal information. On the site, you can search by your email to see if it's exposed in a breach. So when information gets hacked out of a company, often our personal information, it often gets spread across the, the internet, exchanged between people, sold between people, misused, abused. And when it starts circulating, very often people pick it up and send it to me. Hunt says doing the search can give you a sense of how far you've been exposed. I typed in my work email, and you can see all the breaches where my email was exposed. Doesn't necessarily mean my passwords were exposed, but now I know about the breach. It's still a good idea to change passwords regularly. Even services I've never had interaction with are showing up. Could be because one service acquired another or shared data. Hunt says whether you find your information on the site or not, protect yourself from these breaches. He says people know they shouldn't use easy to guess passwords or the same password everywhere, but people still do. Big mistake, he says. Instead, use a password manager, an online way to securely store those hard to remember passwords. Use multi-factor authentication, where you are sent a code that you have to plug in in order to get access to an account or get a text message to get access. And maybe one other sort of very practical piece of advice, and it's just thinking about your own data minimization. So how much information do you really want to give online organizations? Hunt gave me an example of a forum that asked people to enter their birth date. Obviously your birth date might not be a secret, might be on your Facebook page. But Hunt says if you start giving it to random websites, that increases your risk for identity theft. Jacqueline?